Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So I've literally just picked this huddle um, a few minutes ago. My son cooked it. Uh, and now what we're going to do is we're going to cook it. And you, a lot of <laughs> a lot of you ask, um, are we growing these for ornaments and other things? But no, we're going we're to grow these for, for eating. And I'll show you how we do that. <laughs> The test for uh, a huddle that's ready, that's good to, still to eat, is you stick your fingernail in. And if your fingernail goes in quite easily, then that's fine. If, you, if your fingernail doesn't go in easily, then that's getting a bit tough and it might be a bit hard to eat. So all we're going to do is we're just going to peel it just like a potato. The, these gourds are a staple um, in Indian cuisine. Uh, especially amongst Bangladeshis and we're going to cook it with uh, a roll mass today. A roll mass is a type of carp. Uh, I'm not actually sure uh, what the scientific name is but it's a type of carp that's commonly farmed and found uh, natural in Bangladesh. It is a roll mass we're cooking it with isn't it? So these ends Take the knife and off. That's it. Do the middle one. So the skin can be a bit tough, so make sure you get all the bits of the skin off. Yeah, oh, there's a bit there. All those trimmings, that's going to be lovely food for my worms. So we'll put that to one side and that will go on to continue to feed our garden. It's lovely and, lovely and tender inside. If that was ripe, that would become a lot more netty and those seeds would be a lot more prominent. So at this point, these seeds in here are not, they won't be viable to, you know, to produce any, any to sow. So yeah, we just slice them in half and six pieces. My sister bought us a new kettle. Um, I mean, it's a bit fancy for me. It's got all these buttons. All I, all I know about is a, um, a kettle with an on-off button, but this one seems to have different buttons for different things. Uh, it's quite quite fancy, quite technical. Um, for, for a man as simple as me, uh, it's like rocket science. Oh, that end's a bit tough, so I need to take a bit more off that end. Yeah, that's for the bin. That end, that end where the stalk was is still quite tough, so I'm going to take off all of that up to where, where the green is. That's the base of the stalk, so that can all come off. That'll be a bit tough. So what we're trying to do is get them all roughly an equal size. Otherwise, because if you cut them some big, some small, then some are going to cook faster than the others. And these, because they're homegrown, they're fresh, they're lit and they're so tender, they'll cook really quickly anyway. What I've got here is a sauce that we've already started making. But what it is, is we've, we started off with a little bit of olive oil um, and chucked some garlic in there, brown the garlic and then chuck some onions in there, a little bit of salt, about uh, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of turmeric, a teaspoon of coriander powder and that's been allowed to all melt down together. So this is what, what your gravy, your salt, this is your base of your gravy basically uh, and once it's all reached this stage now it's ready for the gourds to go in. So I'll just drop them in. Give them a mix.
and just leave that there for it all to tenderize. Oh no. So we added um, some water, about half a litre of water, and allowed it to simmer. Now those gourds, they look like um, they're about ready. So let me see if I can do this with one hand. Yep, yeah, they're ready. So they're soft. Now it's time to add the fish. Now what we've got is uh, romas, it's a type of carp, and that's the fish there. We cook the fish on the bone so nothing goes to waste. Even the fish heads, they're going in here as well. Everything's going in. Cooking it on the bone gives it that extra flavour that would otherwise be lost. And you're using all the fish. You're not you're not wasting any of it. You know during the fill if you take fillets, the middle of it ends up going to waste. Here nothing gets wasted, and even the water that we wash it in that goes in as fertilizer for the garden. So all that bloody water that's left over, I've just been saving it in a bowl while we've been washing it, and that's all going to go and feed my garden. So now that I've got the fish in, I'll give it another stir. You've got to be careful now. Uh, because what you don't want to do is you don't want to break the fish. So I'll give it a little stir, gently. And we'll leave that to simmer for about 20 minutes. And that'll, and that'll cook the fish through, that'll cook everything nicely and it'll be ready to eat. It'll be absolutely delicious when it's, when it's done.